Education on population. Education on population is very important. Population growth is population increase over time. This population change can be due to births, deaths, or migration. Population growth has been happening for more than 200 years and has impacted the population around the world in many ways. In this article, we will cover population education and why it affects population growth so much. Education on family planning. The list of benefits goes on and on when it comes to family planning education. By educating a population about the importance of these services, countries can increase their GDP per capita by 10%. And another study found that those who had been educated in this area were less likely to have more than six children leading them down a path towards poverty alleviation as well. The population education program in the developing world is seen as a potential solution to issues of overpopulation. This method has been proven successful in other countries, but it's not always so simple across cultures and religions. The critical challenge for these programs is that they must find ways to engage with communities on this important topic while respecting their culture and religion, which can be difficult. There are many different approaches, targeted information campaigns or grassroots initiatives where community members lead discussions about family planning themselves. It also requires raising awareness among parents to be who may have never had any contact whatsoever with contraception before labor start. Population Education on Birth Control in order to reduce the risk of pregnancies, many people are turning to birth control. This form of contraception can be administered using various methods, including oral pills. In addition, there is a new type that works by releasing hormones from an implant under your skin or in shots you take once every three months at most clinics around town. The population education on birth control seems well researched with all these options for those who want more freedom when it comes time to have children. People in developed countries like the United States are often educated about birth control on a personal level. This is due to access and necessity for many people, as well as progressive legislation that has been passed over recent years. In developing countries such as India, these conversations do not happen nearly enough or at all because of cultural taboos. Education on Population Education on Population Control in Developing Countries Developing countries are often faced with a lack of resources, which can lead to an overpopulation problem. One facet of addressing this issue is education on population control for both males and females in these regions. In developing nations where there may be little money or food available, the problems created by overcrowded cities become exacerbated quickly as many families struggle to live day to day. This means that when it comes time for children to grow up, they have few opportunities if their parents cannot afford to school them and those without jobs find themselves overwhelmed with having too many mouths to feed, never mind the risk factor involved in living so closely together with all at once. The people of developing countries are often unprepared for the dangers that exist in their environment. This can be seen by observing population density and education rates, which show a correlation between higher populations and lower levels of educational attainment. Many schools lack electricity or clean water to educate students on important topics such as health family planning services like contraception access, reproductive rights, including abortion law reforms especially for adolescent girls who tend not to have control over when they will conceive children because many feel it is too late once you get married. There needs to be more focus on educating citizens about these problems so we may see a change in our world's future generations' lives. Education on Population Control Education on Population Control in Developed Countries the population of the world is proliferating, and some countries are struggling to keep up. One initiative that has been proposed as a solution for this problem in developed countries is education on contraception methods and family planning. This would cut down on unwanted pregnancies while also allowing couples who want more children to have them without having too many kids at once or spacing their births apart so much they can take care of all their little ones right away after births notification arrives. The vast majority of people in developed countries live with the knowledge that their population is too large and needs to be controlled. The most common way for populations to be reduced? Educating developing nations on how they can improve living conditions, increase agricultural production, decrease vector-borne disease transmission rates, and more. Education on population control in rural areas. I want to talk about education on population control in rural areas because I think it's too important of an issue. In many parts of the rural areas, poverty is so great that families have more children than they can afford with hopes for social security and economic stability through their offspring later in life when there are fewer jobs available. 
This has to lead to unsustainable populations levels, which consequently leads not only to increased rates of disease but also a more significant amount struggling just primary survival living conditions. This makes the countries weaker economically as well as socially unable to provide adequate health care or other essential services like schools. The problem affects both developed nations where birth rates have been high enough for people to live at a comfortable level without worrying about supporting such large numbers. Population control is becoming a pressing issue in rural areas as more and more people move into these spaces. In many cases, the population of a site can grow exponentially due to migration or natural growth rates that are higher than those found anywhere else. Education on birth spacing, contraception methods, and family planning practices will be essential if we want populations under reasonable levels for environmental sustainability reasons like food production, which becomes more complex with too many mouths to feed. Education on population control in urban areas. The population in many urban areas has grown exponentially. In order to reduce the number of people, there are organizations that have come up with ways for us to educate ourselves and others about how we can help alleviate some of this pressure on natural resources. The environment is being impacted because these cities require significant amounts of energy like electricity so that they can keep functioning at all times, it's unsustainable. But you don't need a degree or anything complicated. Education works best when it's participatory learning sessions where ideas are shared freely around topics like sustainability and conservationism. Today, many cities are experiencing the effects of population growth that they cannot support. The people who live within these communities have been working hard to find solutions for this problem, and one solution is education on family planning. With a growing number of families living there, some issues arise such as overcrowding with limited space, which leads to more competition over resources like food or water. This can lead to conflict between groups and individuals due to the scarcity around them, so it's essential for all parties involved not just parents to know how their choices affect others as well as their overall well-being but also future generations too if we do nothing now about controlling our populations then things will only get worse from here because eventually natural disasters could strike leaving us even. Education on population helps to maintain quality of life. Population education helps to maintain quality of life. It's only logical that if people are educated about their own fertility, they can take charge and avoid unwanted pregnancies or abortions and act which could have severe consequences for mental health as well as future opportunities for themselves, the child involved in early pregnancy, and society at large. The population in the United States is increasing at an alarming rate. The most prominent way to tackle this issue would be through understanding education and how it affects the quality of life. There are many ways that educating people about their own health can help them live better lives full of happiness or rich with knowledge, but it's not always easy for everyone to get a good grasp on these topics when they have so much else going on, like work or family concerns. Education on population can help in controlling population and give nature another chance to grow.